Hello everyone and welcome. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to airdrop files between devices. Now you can do this from Mac to iPhone, from iPhone to Mac, or you could have replaced iPhone in that case with iPad or iPod Touch even. So the way we're going to do this, I'm going to first show you how to go from iPhone to Mac and then we're going to do the reverse. So first, uh, you want, want to make sure that everything's set up correctly. So on your iPhone, you do want to make sure you go into Control Center and make sure the AirDrop is turned on and it's set to everyone. Just keep makes it a little bit easier. Also, you need to make sure that Bluetooth is in fact turned on as well. So now let's just find a file that we can send over. I'm going to go here into Photos. This is a quick selfie I just took a second ago. I'm going to hit the little Share button at the bottom left corner but you could really do this with pretty much any kind of file on the iPhone. And you'll see there that the first option that pops up is AirDrop. Sometimes it'll take a couple seconds for your device to show up, but you can see right there we have uh, two devices, and we're going to use the first one, David's MBP. We'll tap on that. And if you look at the top right corner of my Mac, it just popped up here, and it says AirDrop. I'm trying to uh, accept a file, so I'll hit Accept. And anytime you download a file through AirDrop, the default location that it goes to is your downloads folder. So sure enough, there is that image. Now what if I want to do the reverse? Let's get out of this and just go to the main home screen. Now because of the software that I use in order to simulate my iPhone here, sometimes there's a little bit of a delay so I may have to do some editing here. But let's say I have a document okay, that I want to send from my computer into my iPhone. We'll go to that document, once again hit the same share button that you'll see here at the top of a finder window now, and click on AirDrop. And in just a moment, my phone should pop up on the screen here. There we go. Click on my name. And there we go. So now my phone has said, oh, you're trying to be sent this document. Now what if you have different programs that can open this document. Well, let's go over that. Uh, when you hit accept, it's going to ask you where do you want to save it. So in this case, um, I actually don't have pages on my iPhone. I do have it on my iPad, but not my iPhone. It's saying, well, where do you want to store this? I can store it in Dropbox, Evernote. If I had pages here, that would be an option. But it gives you choices for wherever you want to store. So uh, no matter what kind of file it is you're trying to send from one device to the other, just know that you always have options provided that you have applications that can open that type of file. So let's say I want to save it to uh, Dropbox. I'll just tap on that. It's going to go into my Dropbox folder and it's just going to save it uh, right there, of course, after I sign in. That's all for now, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. If you happen to be watching us on YouTube, we do, of course, appreciate it. If you click that little like button and we'll see you next time. That's all, everyone. Class dismissed.